said he on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far from me. Never caught off, not one too far from me. Never caught off, not one day. Never caught off, not one day. But I'm still on my way. The starting line for the visiting Indiana Pacers. At powerful Obi Top. At shooting guard, Bruce Brown. At the other forward position, Buddy Hill. At center, Miles Turner. At the other guard position, Tyrese Halliburton. The head coach of the visiting team, Rick Carlisle. the Indiana Pacers in this one as they go up against the Detroit Pistons here in Little Caesars Arena. I'm Brian Anderson along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Allie LaForce. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Toppin at the four and Turner at the five. Halliburton at the one with Brown at the two and it's Heel in at the three. And for Detroit, in it forward, it's Thompson and Bogdanovich. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. And it's Duran in at the five spot. These teams both hungry for a win, Grant, searching for some consistency on a night-to-night -night basis. And this is what they call a get-right game, potentially. So how do the teams focus? trying to capitalize on this unique opportunity. We'll see. Now here's Ivy. And down it goes. Jam that one home. I love it. I mean, great ball movement by Ivy. Top of the screen on Thompson. Heel from outside. Counted from distance. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Ivy against Brown. And here's Cunningham outside. The Pacers pull it in. Heel passes to Halliburton. Now Turner. Pulls up on the wing. Inside. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton all about getting his teammates open looks. Does such a great job with his unselfishness making the pass. First quarter, just over a minute played. Ivy passes to Cunningham. Ivy a screen on Halliburton. 
Here's Cunningham. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Toppin. And the Pacers tack on two more. And that is textbook perfect. The bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. The Pistons have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Cunningham. Duran the screen. Cunningham passes to Duran. Rebounded by Halliburton. For Indiana, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Brown, a screen on Cunningham. Let's it go from 14. Another one falls for Indiana. Whenever that mid-range jump shot is available, Halliburton is going to take advantage of it. He's a really good passer, but also an opportunistic scorer. Pass to Bogdanovich. Sends it home from three-point land. More than capable of knocking down that shot. He's not shy. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Turner. And here's Halliburton. Out to heel. Clock at six. Fires from the wing. Rebound Detroit. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how they'll take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. Now here's Ivy. There's Bogdanovich with the three. And Toppin pulls it down. Thompson against Heel. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Ivy. And he's going for the lob. Duran, no good. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Ivy. No made baskets yet. Two points. That one goes. Hey, you know, Ivy wants to get to the rim. But good judgment taking what's there. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Three-point lead. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. And here's Toppin from the arc. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Three points. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. For Detroit, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Cunningham looking it over. Now here's Ivy. Here's Cunningham outside. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Pretty clever move by Cunningham. Calling for the play to get himself some space to work with. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. You know, Clark, what you marvel about with Halliburton, the accuracy from both the field and the line. Well, there are very few guys that are part of the 50-40-90 club, and every year he's flirting with that. And when he doesn't have the shot that he wants, what I like is that he just simply makes the right basketball pass. I tell you, one of the things I've noticed about Halliburton is his endurance, man. It is off the charts. He's always pushing the pace and really outworking other guys most of the time. He's constantly revving up the motor and taking things up a notch. Indiana's gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Heel the screen on Cunningham. Halliburton for three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. The Pistons trailing. Thompson passes to Ivy. Cunningham outside. Duran the screen. Six to shoot. And it's all tied up. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. 
Cunningham against Halliburton. Pass to Brown. Now here's Halliburton. He's got six. Beyond the arc. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Remarkable judgment in the pick and roll. Halliburton reads these situations extraordinarily well. Now Ivy. Duran, the screen. Ivy passes to Duran. Oh, stolen by Turner. Launches it. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Well, in the way the game is played in this day and age, it really is beneficial to have a big man who can stroke it from deep. And Turner is definitely of that ilk. Now here's Cunningham. Duran, the screen. Releases. And again, it's Detroit. Dialed in. Cunningham in innate ability to shoot. Halliburton with the ball. He's got nine. Fires for three. No, sir. He's now three for five in this one. Pass to Ivy. Cunningham outside. Shot from the wing. Good on the shot. And now just a two-point pacer lead. Not an easy shot at all. Cunningham seems to have it early on in his NBA career. Turner finds heel. Thompson pulls it in. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. Cunningham on the wing. Guarded by Heel. And solid pass from Cunningham. He has a good understanding for when the defense has overcommitted. Here's Halliburton. from outside. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Heald's got six. There's the quick hands from Heald. Saw the defender closing in then pulled the trick. Detroit has gone two for four from range to start things off. Cunningham against Halliburton. Cunningham passes to Ivy. And here's Bogdanovich. Ivy outside. Wing shot on the way. Hauled in by Brown. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Pass to Turner. Halliburton to three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Tyrese Halliburton so capable of playing multiple positions and roles for this team. And tonight, he's embraced being the score. Detroit calls timeout. Stewart, he's checked in for Thompson. Burks comes in for Ivy. And Hayes is subbed in for Cunningham. Walker, he's checked in for Indiana. Matherin comes in for Brown. Pass to Hayes. Now Stewart. Fires it. And again, the Pistons missing. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Halliburton against Hayes. Out to heel. The three. And again, it's Indiana with a three. A very efficient range shooter. You expect Heel to take these shots. Stewart, a screen on Matherin. Burks against Matherin. They need this. Burks no good. Indiana leading. Pass to Halliburton. With the teardrop. It's blocked. They get it back. Outside Matherin. Six on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Halliburton with the basket. And the assist by Matherin. Halliburton's got 15 points. Detroit calls timeout. Boy, you gotta like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. They really need to reshape their defense. They have to get out to him quicker to slow his three-point attack. Here comes the first 
for the Pistons. Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Harris comes in for Bogdanovich. And Kate Cunningham subbed in for Burks. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. Neesmith comes in for Heald. Now here's Hayes. No points so far. And counted from 12 feet. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Here's Jackson. Halliburton, the pass to Jackson. Good work defensively by Wiseman. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Wiseman, a screen on Matherin. Back to Wiseman. Shoots over Jackson. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Burks, he's checked in for Harris. Smith, he's checked in for Indiana. 105 left in the first quarter here. Halliburton looking for an opening. Pass to Matherin. Left side Walker. Here's Halliburton. The rebound by Stewart. Detroit has gone two for four from range to start things off. To the middle. And finished off by Stewart. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And so it's Indiana with it, following the score by Detroit. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Matherin against Cunningham. Shoots over Matherin. And that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 10 points in the game. Yeah, I just love how Cunningham alters his pace to get what he wants. Outside Matherin. Smith with a screen on Cunningham. Here's Matherin. Count that one. And the Pacers lead by eight. Forcing the issue in the paint. Great strength for Matherin. Tyrese Halliburton getting it done for the Pacers. Torching the Nets. Hitting four from distance that quarter. We'll be right back. 36. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. On the court for the Pacers, second quarter underway. Halliburton at point with Matherin by his side. Neesmith out there with Walker. And it's Nuora in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Halliburton. Shot clock at six. The three. Detroit with a rebound. And when you watch Halliburton run point, he makes life easy for his team. You know, he's like a Pied Piper. He's a guy that other people gravitate to and enjoy playing with. Always has his head up. He's excellent at reading angles and situations and using the right pass at the right time. And rarely seems to four shots. I mean, that's the quintessential playmaking point guard if ever there was one. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. We've had many impactful European players throughout the years, Clark. What makes their style of play so different? You know, I think it's really how they're trained from the time they start playing the game, B.A. Every player, regardless of size, is taught to think 
and feel and play the game fundamentally sound. And I love that. And I think that's something that should be mimicked in the States. Train kids to play the game the right way in all aspects of it, no matter how small or tall they are. Outside Burks. Pass to Hayes. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Stewart against Walker. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Greg, given the proud history of the Pistons, the teens were an especially rough decade for them. Yeah, I mean, nothing much went right for them. But I'll say this for Detroit fans. They never give up on their team. It's as faithful a fan base as you'll find. Well, you look at the length and athleticism of this young Pistons roster, Grant. Quite the foundation. Yeah, B.A., I mean, those are things you can't teach. So the rate at which this new-look coaching staff develops that will determine just how quickly they can deliver on that innate capability. And I like how Walker positions himself on the offensive glass. I mean, this rookie isn't afraid to mix it up. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. One thing about the Pacers, Clark, year in, year out, they compete. And you know, it doesn't matter who's on the roster. They can and will outwork most teams. Even the best teams can't afford a letdown against the Pacers. And that's good as he hits both shots. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Cade Cunningham was the Pistons' number one overall pick in 2021, but he knows recognition comes with success. He said, nobody will care until you're winning. I think that's the next step for us. We're trying to take that challenge. It's us versus everybody. Brian, the Pistons, a young and scrappy team, are embracing the challenge. Yes, they are. Thanks, Allie. Walker for three. Knocks it down from distance. Walker's got five points. No hesitation. Nice work by Walker, not overthinking it. Cunningham against Matherin. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Nora, pass to Neesmith. A good look from Matherin. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. And now it's a 12-point Indiana lead. Boy, he's got a smooth stroke. Even on his catch-and-shoot jumpers, Matherin has excellent form. Cunningham on the wing. He's covered by Matherin. Stewart, screen on Matherin. And here's Cunningham outside. The rebound by Neesmith. The Pacers have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Nora. Here's Walker. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And such a strong guy. Walker could live in the paint. Hayes, the pass to Cunningham. Hayes with a screen on Matherin. There's Cunningham with a three. Here's Wiseman. Oh, look at Wiseman. All the tools inside. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from them. Matherin passes to Neesmith. Here's Nora. Good work defensively by Wiseman. Burks finds Stewart. And he banks in the layup. Stewart's got four points this quarter. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Pass to Nora. Here's Halliburton on the take. Stolen by Burks. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. Blocked! Here's Neesmith. Still no points. Walker with it. Stewart defends. With the seven-footer. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's One part shot. of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. You 
know, between his skills, his motor, and his physical ability, Walker came into the league more ready for the NBA than most first-year guys. Here's Cunningham. The rebound by Turner. He's fallen into a bit of a slump this quarter. How quickly things can turn. Turner, a screen on Thompson. Halliburton up top. This one for three. Connects from downtown. Halliburton's got 18. At the arc, Halliburton, confident. No fear, no hesitation. He sees a good shot, he's letting it fly. Durant, the pass to Ivy. The three from Thompson. Here's Durin. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Brown. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And here's Toppin from the arc. Can't get it to drop. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Pass to Thompson. Cunningham against Halliburton. Six on the shot clock. Top it against Cunningham. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself Ooh. down and wait for good shots. For Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And here's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Trailing by 17. Pass to Ivy. Bagley with it. Now here's Cunningham. Durin, the screen. From behind the arc. And it's Cunningham missing. The Pacers have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Brown finds Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Cunningham. Down low. And it's Turner, that time, on the assist by Halliburton. Turner's got seven points. Does a nice job at capitalizing in the screen and roll. I mean, Turner's IQ and size. Tough to contain when he's rolled into the basket. Now here's Ivy. Pass to Cunningham. Jacks up a three. Cunningham can't get that one to fall. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Halliburton against Cunningham. And then Turner with the dunk. Hey, if you throw it up there, Miles Turner is going to find it and finish it. Pistons shooting at 49% so far in the game. Thompson passes to Duran. Now Cunningham looking to end the run. Cunningham can't get that one to fall. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter, really rough for him. Nothing going his way. But he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. They double him with Bagley. Brown passes to Toppin. And here's Walker from the arc. And Ivy pulls it down. Cunningham outside. Ivy against Turner to the inside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. You know, he's run that set a lot, even in his college days. Ivy's aware of every option he has in the pick and roll. And here's Halliburton. 18 points for him. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Boyan Bogdanovic checked in for the Pistons. Heels checked in for Indiana. Matherin comes in for Halliburton. Give it up once again for your Pistons. Break or dance, sir. Tipped away. Bogdanovich with it. Picked up by Matherin. Unloads from 13. And he knocks the jumper down. Bogdanovich has got 10 points in the game. Boy, and you see that ability to pull up off the dribble. Bogdanovich. A little creativity there. 
Brown passes to Matherin. Turner, a screen on Thompson. Here's Matherin. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. 13 foul. At the line for the Pacers. Matherin shooting one. That free throw good for Matherin. A tremendous score from the two-guard spot. Matherin is a little like Jason Richardson, former Warriors great. Perhaps Matherin can have that same type of career, maybe exceed it. Now here's Bagley. No points yet. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Indiana. And the Pistons making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. The, the Pacers also with a sub. Halliburton is checked in. On offense, here are the Pacers. They're on a 16-6 run. Toppin outside. Back to heel. Pass to Halliburton. Cunningham brings a double. Brown passes to Halliburton. Five on the clock. Here's Turner. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Turner's got six points in the quarter. Turner is very comfortable letting it go from there. A dependable score from the mid-range. Here's Cunningham. He's got 12. Bogdanovich with it. Here's Ivy. Defended by Brown. Bogdanovich with a screen on Brown. Ivy. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Bruce Brown. Team four. No good on that one. And, and how can you not be excited about Ivy's potential? You can tell he wants to keep getting better. And he sinks the second. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for Indiana. Two minutes remaining. Outside heel. Two minutes. There's a screen by Toppin. Takes one from 10 feet. Rebounded by the Pistons. Bogdanovich has got his fourth rebound in this one. Ivy against Brown. Here's Duran. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Here's Halliburton after the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Top and left side. Pass to Brown. Cunningham brings a double. And then Turner with the dunk. Oh, you can't let Turner get that deep inside. When you do, he's going to abuse you with a throwdown right on top of your head. Detroit shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. That three's off the mark. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Turner. Now Halliburton, defended by Thompson. Brown passes to Halliburton. And the three off target. And the Pistons shooting at a respectable 49%. And it's Bogdanovich that time on the assist by Ivy. Ivy's got three assists now in this one. Thirty seconds left in the half. Cunningham against Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Out to the right wing. Coppin passes to Brown. The three is up. It doesn't go for him. Ivy with the defensive effort from deep. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Indiana up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution offensively? 
Uh, we were making some shots. Uh, we moved the ball well at times. We've got to be careful about having the ball stick when they're doing their switching. Good luck with the ball movement in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Boy, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Bogdanovich and Duran together in the middle, and it's Thompson in at the three. And that's the group for Monty Williams as we begin the second half. Ivy passes to Thompson. And that one drops for him. Good work down low. I mean, I like how confident Thompson is from this area. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Top it against Bogdanovich. Outside, Brown. There's a screen by Turner. Brown can't hit. Brown's gone. What a three shooting so far. Now here's Thompson. Coming him outside. Offensive screen set out of bounds. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Indiana has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Takes the three. Drains the triple. Halliburton's got 21. Good intelligent basketball on the part of Turner there. Assists like that will make the defense think twice about how they're going to defend him. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Pistons. And able to impact the game at both ends is Miles Turner-Clark. You know, I like the fact that he's dangerous on offense, but more importantly, he's led the league multiple seasons in block shots. And he does not take time off at the defensive end of the floor. Boy, just a gorgeous touch from Bogdanovich there. Love to see him go with the floater. That's such an effective shot. The Pacers have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Halliburton. Takes it. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Punch. That was bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. Halliburton inflicting some pain with that throwdown. My goodness, young fella. This piston squad struggling. During the screen. Here's Ivy. Rejected by Brown. Heel passes to Brown. And here's Halliburton. He's watched by Cunningham. Inside, Toppin. And a slam dunk by Toppin. You know, to me, this is what you love seeing from Turner. The willingness to give the ball up and get his guys going. Here's Cunningham. He's got 12. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Oh, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. Everybody get down. Love you. 
A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Bogdanovich down low. He's against Toppin. Bogdanovich passes to Cunningham. Just five to shoot. Fires from deep. Called in by Brown. The Pacers have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And a slam dunk by Toppin. Nice feed from Halliburton. He's really put in the work to become an outstanding passer. The Pistons have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Cunningham. Ivy outside for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Cunningham. Cunningham's got six assists now in the game. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Turner with it. And it's blocked. Pass to Cunningham. Up top, Thompson. Cunningham against Halliburton. Tries to break his ice. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, Benedict Matherin talked about his motivation. He said, quote, a lot of people play a sport because they have talent, but I play for a different reason. I want to be one of the greatest players ever, and I want to take care of my family. I made that promise to myself when I was very young, and I have no choice but to be great. That's the way it is. B.A.? All right, Allie, thank you. Good reporting there. Detroit has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Cunningham finds Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Cunningham's got 14 points for the game. And getting up close and personal, Cunningham knows he can get his shot to go inside. Heald passes to Brown. Halliburton with the ball, working on Duran. Brown can't hit. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Got a piece of it. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. To the middle. Here's Duran, and he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Just an incredible display of power. He attacked the rim with both hands. Most definitely, that was a thunder dunk. Wow. Yeah, for sure. That was a take no chances, take no prisoner slam right there, guys. So it's the Pacers now following the score by Detroit. And then Turner with the dunk. Boy, when Turner gets it rolling now, he can be a dominant scorer. The Pistons have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Brown against Ivy. Pass to Thompson. Clock at six. Overhealed. Here's Duran. Right through the D for the layup. He's got 14. I love his tenacity. Extra possessions, second chance points. That's winning basketball. The Pacers have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Top of a screen on Cunningham to the paint. And he lobs it up. <laughs> How sweet was that play? Ten point pass set up the alley oop flush. Guys, I tell you, there are assists and then there are delicious dimes. This was the latter. And for the Pacers, they're shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Toppin outside. Back to Halliburton. Cunningham brings a double. Here's Heal. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. heald has got 11 points. And I like whenever Heal attacks inside like this, exploiting the defense when they give him these chances. The Pistons have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Cunningham against Halliburton. And it's Cunningham missing. And Halliburton has got the ball here for the Pacers. They have a 19-point lead. 
Brown finds Halliburton. Shot from 12. And it's Indiana scoring again. Now that was nasty. Absolutely nasty. Halliburton looking like a street baller. With that kind of dribble move, major handles. Back to Cunningham. Out to Thompson. Pass to Duran. Now here's Thompson. Guarded by Heald. Just five on the clock. Goes up at the elbow. And Toppin pulls it down. Toppin's got four rebounds now. Cunningham brings a double. Here's Duran. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, what a dish right there. I mean, Ivy anticipated the open man and executed. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Pacers. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And I also have to praise them for their three-point shooting. They're showing a lot of confidence, letting them fly from deep. Heal so good at finding ways to get it in the hoop, regardless of who's defending. At the line for the Pacers. Heal. Buddy, Heal. Two shots. That's good from Heal. Heald hits them both. Everybody knows about how Buddy Heald is an incredible three-point threat. But what I love, here's a guy with a bunch of years playing 80 or more games. Love that durability. He's ready to go whenever they call his name. Here's Brown. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Brown's got five points. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. The Pistons have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Ivy outside. Pass to Thompson. Here's Duran. Turner covers. Duran, the pass to Ivy. From outside the arc. Oh, and Turner with a block. Miles Turner denying another one. One of the league's best shot blockers here in. And year out. Walker. Walker, he's checked Jared. in for Toppin. So it's Detroit now. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Stolen by Ivy. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, stolen by Turner. He's all alone. Hammers it down. Goes coast to coast. Nice heads-up defense from Turner there, paying off with a successful fast break. Here's Ivy. He's got six. Outside Bogdanovich. Stewart, a screen on heel. Bogdanovich finds Stewart. Outside Bogdanovich. Misses the three. Indiana's gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside heel, launches a three, and a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Heald's got seven points here in the quarter. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here's Thompson. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. Shots that good. one on heel for the Pistons. Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Burks comes in for Thompson. And Hayes is subbed in for Ivy. And the Pacers also making a change. Nimhart, he's checked in for Brown. You know, you look at Bogdanovich, and this guy is really outstanding at taking high percentage shots. And he's got what I call a natural scoring ability and mentality. Pass to Hayes. Back to Stewart. Shoots over Matherin. That one rolls around and rims out. Indiana's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Nimhart, the pass to Heald. Walker, a screen on Bogdanovich. And here's Matherin. Here's the three. It's Hayes with the rebound. Pass to Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the jam. What a great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it.
Yeah, highly efficient, nothing extra special there, just effective. So it's the Pacers now. There's a screen by Turner. Nimhart, the pass to Turner. Puts it up. Outside heel. Let's a three fly. Buries it from three. Heald's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Stewart, the pass to Hayes. Bogdanovich on the wing. There's the triple. Heald with the defensive effort. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Pass to Turner. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Walker passes to Heald. Takes a three. Unable to get that one. Here's Wiseman. And he drops it in from the low post. Wiseman's got six. What a display of skill. The defense was solid, but he finds a way. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. It's the Pacers delivering the blowout. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Halliburton at point with Matherin by his side. Neesmith out there with Buddy Heald. And it's Walker in at the center position. And Cunningham's teammates rely on him to score, which is why he's so assertive on the offensive end. Outside Walker. All sorts of time, yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Cunningham. Stewart, a screen on Matherin. Now here's Stewart. Burks for three. The rebound by Neesmith. Neesmith's got his fourth rebound in this one. Matherin finds Halliburton. To the inside and stolen by Cunningham. Outside Burks. And the ball out of play. The Pacers will have it. Norris checked in for Indiana. Substitution for the Pacers. Number 13. George. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Pass to Halliburton. The kick out to Walker. Three-pointer. Detroit with a rebound. Cunningham's got four rebounds now. Down low. Here's Stewart. There's the block. Yeah, using his long wingspan, Walker could become a serious defensive menace. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Pass to Matherin. Three-pointer. 
Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. And the Pacers making a change here. Nimhart's checked in. And he makes all three. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Burks. And here's Wiseman. It's stolen by Halliburton. Matherin with the ball. He's watched by Cunningham. And the shot goes in. Matherin's got seven now in this quarter. Showing off and flashing that scoring ability. Matherin wants his team to know they can really trust him on offense. Wiseman finds Cunningham. Pass to Hayes. Shoots over Halliburton. Hayes misses. The Pacers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Neesmith passes to Demart. And here's Halliburton. He's defended by Hayes. Wiseman over to help. Here's Nora. Lays it up and banks Nora. it in. Nora. Nora's got his first two points. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Timeout, timeout. Detroit, Detroit calls timeout. Oh, yeah, they're hoping to turn things Sorry. around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Durant, he's checked in for Wiseman. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Substitution on the floor. Pass to Hayes. It's stolen by Halliburton. He takes it in. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Halliburton's got nine points now in the second half. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Duran the screen. Burks with it. Turner covering. Oh, stolen by Turner. Neesmith passes to Halliburton. Beyond the arc. Neesmith's shot is off. Detroit shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Cunningham. Hayes for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Cunningham. Cunningham's got assist number eight here already in the game. Halliburton on the attack. Pass to Neesmith. Takes the three. Gets the three to fall. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. During the screen. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. For the Pistons, Boyan Bogdanovich, who comes in for Stewart, and it's Thompson in for Hayes. And the Pacers also making a change. Nimhart's checked in. For Detroit, Burks. Alec Burks. What? The Pacers have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Here's Nora. Lee Smith passes to Demart. Here's Halliburton. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up from 17. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Detroit has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Cunningham on the wing. Defended by Halliburton. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Now Burks. Pass to Cunningham. The three. Knocks down the long tail. Cunningham's got five points in the quarter. And look at the lack of hesitation. Cade gets the ball and is confident he can make the shot. Knocked away. Here's Duran. Here's Burks. Here's Bogdanovich. That one's good. He's now eight for 13. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a 
pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Now here's Burks. Pass to Bogdanovich. To the left side wing. Duran, the pass to Burks. Back to Duran. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. And there's not a ton of time left, but they're still in the game. Hard not to wonder if maybe they left it until too late. I mean, they finally started to make some things happen, but at this point, they almost have to be perfect the rest of the way. The three from Thompson doesn't go that time. The Pacers shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter to win the drought. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I think when his coach looks at Andrew Nimhart, he sees lots of potential there, Grant. Oh, yes, he does, B.A. And for a second-round pick in 2022, he's been a steal. A pure point with size at 6'5", that enables him to play at either guard spot. And the Pistons making a change here. Ivy's checked in. Now here's Cunningham. And it's rejected. Got to be impressed with Halliburton's defensive instincts there. I mean, able to come away with the rejection. You don't see guards do that a lot. Pass to Nimhart. Toppin outside. Screen, screen, screen. Healed for three. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Thompson. And that's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. During the screen. Here's Ivy. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, taking it right to the hole. No fear from Jaden Ivy in amongst the big boys. For your Pistons, Ivy, two shots. No good on the free throw. Brown, he's checked in for Nimhart. And he's good on the second. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They have a 19-point lead. Outside heel. Launches it. And it's Miles Turner with the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. You can count on Hill to take shots. He does all he can on the offensive end. Never sees a shot that he doesn't like. The Pistons have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Ivy, a screen on Halliburton. Pass to Duran. Cunningham on the wing. Halliburton comes to help. Outside Bogdanovich. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Bogdanovich has got 11 points here in the second half. For Indiana, they've gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Toppin outside. Inside. Turner in the high post. Working on Duran. Five to shoot. Ivy with a double team. And here's Brown for three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got rebound number eight now. Cunningham against Halliburton. Duran in the post. Cunningham outside. Halliburton comes to help. the block. Pass to heel. Now Halliburton. Stolen by Ivy. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker and that's going the other way. Here's Cunningham. Boy, good contest that time by Halliburton. A combination of quickness and length allows him to defend at a high level. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got five assists in the game. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. 
Now here's Ivy. Brown with the block. Pass to heel. Toppin outside. This one for three. Detroit with a rebound. Ivy's got four rebounds in the game. Duran in the post. Turner covers. Duran, no good. The Pacers have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Cunningham against Halliburton. There's a screen by Toppin. Halliburton goes. 4 3. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Detroit has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Duran, the pass to Cunningham. Bogdanovich from long range. Fires in the triple. Bogdanovich has got eight points here in the quarter. You've got to spy Bogdanovich because he is good at squaring up and delivering the revenge triple. The Pacers have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Pass to Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Cunningham. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Thompson pulls it in. Detroit has gone 4 of 6 from deep thus far in the fourth. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Pacers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Tyrese Halliburton. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And for the Pacers, they're shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Here's Nimhart, guarded by Morris. To the wing, right side. Six to shoot. Walker for three. Count that one. He's now five for eight. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Now here's Bogdanovich. Blocked! There's 31 seconds left in the final quarter. Outside Matherin. Walker, a screen on Hayes. Pass to Nora from behind the arc. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Now Morris. And so it's the Pacers taking care of business in this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Tyrese Halliburton.